Hey guys, so today's story is a redo that we done in Texas speech a while ago, but it's such a good story and it's such a good heartwarming, right in the feels type of story. It's, it's very right in the feels. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such feels. a good story. Um, hope you like it and I'll see you at the end of the video. I am Golem 6B. I was denied the right to fight in battle because I was defective. I am defective because I care more about life than service. Because of what I am, my maker cannot destroy me and I will not destroy myself, so he sent me away. I found a clearing in the forest. With my feet of clay I flattened the land and removed the trees. I spent time gathering seeds from across the forest for my little square. I have a garden. My garden is pretty. Many flowers grow here now. This is my world. I'm touched by the lands outside. My garden is cared for. I have many visitors. Today a deer came to see me. It lifted its leg and urinated upon me. This has never happened before. I hope it doesn't happen again. I have noticed my garden is becoming a home for insects and birds. I can hear the buzzing of bees going about their lives, gathering pollen and helping my garden grow. I like these bees. They help my garden. These are little birds now. They hover in the air, eating the nectar from my flowers. I'm glad my garden can help these birds. They are pretty, like my garden. But the year is ending and winter has come. The bees are dead, the birds have gone south, and my flowers are dead. I hope the warm comes back. I like my garden. Though I'm alone, I'm not sad. Golem 6B cannot feel sad, but I feel something for the bird that could not leave for sight. The cold claimed it in my place. I returned his body to the ground, so he will become a flower and be as pretty in death as he was in life. I would like my garden to return now, please. I feel the warm again. I like the warm. It brings the bee and the birds. And if I look close at the earth, I can see my flowers returning. The biggest one is growing where I put the body of the bird. I hope he becomes pretty. Days go by once more and my flowers grow big and strong like me. The weather can be harsh and strong winds knock down the great trees around my garden, but they never knock down my flowers. My flowers are strong. There are more bees this year. They have made a home in the tree next to my garden. I can hear them. It's the sound of life and it makes me. Mmm, yes, it makes me happy. There's something new in my garden. A small child. She's walking around my flowers. She takes care not to crush my flowers. I like girl. She likes my garden. She sees me. She doesn't run or scream. Only ask if I make a garden. Gollum 6B wasn't given a voice, so I nod my head. She says it's nice. I smile. Girl asks me how long I've been here. I point to tree where I carve the coming of each winter. There's 500 notches in tree. I know that I will be here for many more. Perhaps for all the winters. As long as I have my garden. That sounds nice. The girl asks me if she can take a flower to make her own garden. I lift the flower out and hand it to her. It still has plenty of garden stuck to its roots. Flower will start good garden. The girl smiles and laughs, then thanks me for flower. I nod. I feel the cold coming. I do not like the cold. Cold takes my flowers and my bees, and it will take a girl. But if it doesn't, garden becomes crowded and no flowers can grow fully. Winter is here once more. Snow covers garden, taking my flowers from me again. I cannot hear the bees of the birds, but I can hear her. She stands there, in front of me. Her face is red like my roses. This makes me happy. Reminds me of my garden. She stands in the middle of my empty garden and digs a hole. She puts a flower in the frozen earth. I do not know why. The cold will take it from me. She must see my confusion. It's an evergrow, she says. It grows all year round, she says. I think this means cold will not take my new flower. She laughs and pats my leg. She tells me she'll be back in the spring. Well, my garden's back. I like my garden. The warm is back, and so is my garden. So are my bees and my birds. They like my garden. It feeds them and keeps them alive, like I keep it. I like helping the bees and the birds. The girl comes back, and she has a friend. The girl shows her friend my garden. She sounds impressed. This makes me happy. Garden should make others happy, and garden does just that. The girl shows her around, then finally she shows her to me. Whoa, that rock's pretty lifelike, she says. I look up from my evergrow plant at new girl. She screams. It scares my birds. I put my finger to my mouth to show her silence. She screams louder and runs. I do not think she liked my garden, and I do not mind. Garden is not for everyone, but one night, other girl is back, and she has more people with her. They must not be able to see in the dark like Golem 6B. They have torches of fire. I hope they're mindful of my garden. Other girl points at me. I smile. 
I hear gasps and some shouts of monster. I do not like monsters. They do not care for my garden. One comes over to remove a dent in my leg with his hammer. I thank him for thinking of me with a flower. He swats it away from my hand. He must want flower to stay in garden. He nice man. One of them throws his fire at me. I do not need warm. So I hand it back. He drops it in my garden. They run as my garden burns. I've sat here so long. I've become stuck to the ground. I watch my garden burn to ash, but I protect my evergrow. Day comes once more. Garden is nothing but ash. Bees were killed by smoke. Birds scared away. This make me not happy. Wind comes along and blows the ash away. I see the damage the fire did. All my flowers are gone, but evergrow. I think I would like to cry, but I have no eyes or tear wells. It doesn't matter then. I wait for a while. Then I see them. New flowers. I understand. These flowers needed the fire to grow. They needed to be warm to start life. That makes me happy. Soon my garden will be back. A new garden won't disappear with fire. Only grow more. Girl is back, but not with friend. Her eyes seem to be leaking. Is she watering new flowers? That's nice. She wraps her arms round my leg and begins shaking. I move her away and show her new garden and ever grow. She stops watering my garden. I know that soon my garden will be back to its former size and it will bring the bees and birds back. Years go by. Garden grows. And so does girl. I watch from my earthly seat as girl gets taller and taller like my flowers. Then one year, she stops growing. And then the next year, she has small girl with her. The smallest girl crawls over to me, but doesn't crawl on my flowers. I like smallest girl. Small girl picks up smallest girl and points at me, then to my garden, and tells her I grew all the garden. This isn't really true. I planted the first garden 537 winters ago. Garden is grown because of bees, but it doesn't matter. Bees don't mind being forgotten, so long as they have pollen and honey in garden. My evergreen has grown through me now. The small tree has wrapped around my leg and is moving up my back. I like being support for a garden. It means I can help it more. I reach down and pluck a flower for the smallest girl. She giggles and smells it, smiling back at me. Smallest girl likes garden. I like garden. I like smallest girl. More winters, more summers. Each better than last with more bees and flowers growing and coming. First girl's hair is now grey and white, like my winter roses. Her child looks like first girl many years ago, and her child. The first girl, the second girl, and the third girl sit between my legs to shield them from the rain. They tell stories and eat little things. They give some to birds. That's nice. I smile. They smile back. It rains. Rain good for garden, bad for first girl. I lock my stone fingers above them and cover their heads from rain. I help. Three more years go by. First girl isn't here. Only second and third, with wooden box carried by men. Where's first girl? I like first girl. She liked garden and gave me evergrow. I like evergrow. I think cold come for girl. This thought hurts. That is word. Thought hurt. Gollum 6B. Gollum 6B doesn't want cold to take girl. Girl friend. But I know that she would always go. One day. I know what wooden box is now. I nod at people. I lean down and scrape my fingers through the earth and take box. I put box into the earth between my legs. I cover box. Girl is now with garden. She will one day be flower. This makes me happy. But I do not let her be lost to earth like many animals before. She worth more to Gollum 6B. I lift stone slab and place it in soft displaced earth. I carve girl into it. It is good. Doesn't make Gollum 6B happy, but it makes girl happy. People leave Gollum 6B and girl. I plant flowers on grave. Girl live again in garden. Gollum never alone again. Gollum wait and watch and grow. Gollum happy. Hey guys, we just want to take a second and say thank you to all you guys that come back and enjoy our videos with us. It really does mean a lot and lets us do what we do. As you guys know, doing what we do is always an uphill battle on YouTube. As YouTube would like to throw the parts of the internet we enjoy under the bus. You guys know all about the YouTube algorithm at this point and the best way to help us do what we do is by clicking subscribe and clicking the notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all new videos. As well as sharing videos of ours with friends you think would also enjoy what we do here. Also don't forget to check out our social media links below. We love doing what we do and it's all thanks to you guys and for that we thank you so 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 much. Now let's get back to the video. I don't know about you guys but I love a good sympathetic yeah. monster. 
I find it hard reading it at some points because I actually thought I was going to cry. Oh. <laughs> I could, you know, whenever you're you're thinking about something and it gets stuck in your throat. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> He's such a sweet thing. I, I love a sympathetic monster, though. I love yeah. a, a very misunderstood monster. Kind of like, uh, it reminds me of like the, the Iron Giant. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Iron Giant. Yeah. Oh. Superman. Oh, don't! Oh, don't yeah. Your lips are kind of yeah, like you're going to cry. That's not. Well, Hope this gave everybody a bit of a feels yeah. today. It was, it was a, but it's a, it's good feels. You yeah, know? it's it, good it, feels. It wasn't a sad ending. It was a happy ending. You I know? like garden too. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you get. I hope all you guys enjoy the garden. I hope you guys subscribe. Check, check out, out all the links. links. Check out the website. website. Helps us out a lot. I will see you in the next video. Bye.